Well, I am driving in traffic in Nashville in an ice storm to pick up something new because I think it's going to be very cool. Looking forward to showing it to you guys. But I got to keep my eyes on the road. Hey friends, Joe the Farmer here, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about a secret that Tractor Supply has been keeping from us. Okay, so years ago, my family started going to Tractor Supply, and it wasn't the most organized, great shopping experience that someone would usually have, right? And then changes started to happen. I started noticing more brand name stuff in there, like DeWalt tools were in there, and the stores were cleaner and more organized, and then all of a sudden, outside, I start seeing some power equipment, and then I start seeing side-by-sides. Tractor Supply starts secretly becoming one of these side-by-side -side dealers, right? And Lowe's has done it, and Rural King has done it, a bunch of other people have started selling these things but we had one we you know we picked one up and we've been using it for a couple years in the channel and some of you love it some of you hate it but we have had a great experience with this machine even though we bought it at tractor supply through that whole uh experience what we've realized is that tractor supply is actually starting to also carry tractors and different brands of utvs now and side by sides and even mini bikes and all kinds of crazy stuff mowers and you know you name it we were approached by a company that's going to be offering a brand new side by side through tractor supply no one's ever seen it if you search the name on the internet right now you'll barely find anything if you do find anything they approached us through our you know our channel and said hey how would you all feel about having one of our machines on your channel for a little while let people see it let people see how it works kind of introduce it to the world tractor supply has been working with this manufacturer and they have a i believe it's like an exclusive thing where you'll only be able to get this at Tractor Supply or through a dealer network. First impression of it, I have not driven it at all. Really, I drove it here in an ice storm and then <laughs> unloaded it from a trailer. I have no idea what the ride is like. I don't know what the throttle response is like. I don't know if it's a great machine. I don't know if it's not a great machine. We are going to be 100% honest with you. You're our audience. You're the people that matter to us. And we're going to give this machine a fair shake, though. You know, the other ones that we've had, if you follow the channel, you know that we put them through their paces. We're not here to baby stuff. You know, we're going to cut firewood with it. We're going to use the winch to pull stuff out. We're going to take it through some areas maybe other people wouldn't take nice machines through. But we're going to we're going to treat this thing the way it should be treated, and we're going to be 100% honest with you. And in this video, when I said by the end of the video, you'll see something that no one's ever seen, or you'll kind of get to know what that secret is. The secret's out. Tractor Supply is working on all kinds of different things. By the way, we're not paid by Tractor Supply. That's not what this is about. They're working on this whole network of having these machines. I think it's pretty cool that you know, usually the things that we find out about, they've been working on for you know a year or more. I, I'm not a retail guy. I don't understand all that stuff, but we're excited to use it here in the farm. I tried to keep it clean, but listen, it's a mud season out here on our farm. If you're new to the channel, 125 acres, Middle Tennessee, family of five, I'd love to have you come back. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, do all those different things. We'd love you to do that. But that's not why you're here. You're here because you know that there's a secret machine that Tractor Supply hasn't told you about. But guess what? Your friend Joe the Farmer is going to show you today. So let's get over that machine and I'm going to do a walk around and I'll show you all the features it has. We're going to learn about this thing together. So let's take a look. <laughs> Okay, this is the Bighorn 550 EFI Explorer. This machine will be available at Tractor Supply, uh, I believe in like June, July-ish, depending on where you are in the country. This is a 496cc machine. It comes standard with a winch, all the things that you'd want to have with it in order to make it street legal. Turn signals and rear view mirrors, side mirrors and a roof. Pretty sweet alloy wheels, I guess they're alloy. Um, I don't really know the difference, to be honest, I'm not a big wheel guy. Shock assisted strut, bed. Here you see all your new components. Nice adjustable shocks. These are the same shocks we have on the other one that were uh, fantastic to eat up you know, all the terrain. Actually far better than the Kawasaki mule that we have. Something else that I really like about this machine, this bed is a poly bed. It's plastic, which I know everybody's trying to move to steel, which you know, it could be really nice, but I don't necessarily want a steel bed. We have a steel bed on our Kawasaki Mule, and with the fertilizer and the lime, it's starting to rust. This one will never rust. As long as it doesn't crack and it's strong enough to handle the load that you put in there, then that's really all that matters. It does have this nice slot pattern, which if you look at these slots, uh, this is great. You can cut a board, set it in there to kind of build some partitions in there, uh, which is really nice. I'm not sure why these are in here. Oh, so you got some tie downs. I told you I haven't really looked at the machine yet. Yeah, some nice little tie downs, which is a great touch. Let's hop in here. 
I can tell you right now, I've already hit my head on the mirror. I'm a pretty tall guy. I'm about six foot four, and this machine is very comfortable for me. Other than the fact I've hit my head on this mirror when I was taking off the trailer and just now. That may be coming down. <laughs> uh, something to consider if you're gonna buy one of these things, but turn signals, headlights, your winch, out, in, horn, high gear, low gear, reverse, hazards, this is your four-wheel drive selector, two, four, four-wheel drive lock. This is to unlock your rear diff, which is awesome because the other machine we have cannot unlock the rear diff, and that can actually put some ruts in your grass and your lawn. This little cubby here is pretty awesome because we have a lot of trail cameras and batteries and things we take with us, so that'll be nice to have. It has vents, which uh, what I'm told from the company is at some point there may be an accessory heater that they have that you can add to this aftermarket. Now this is cool, check this thing out. We've always complained about our other machine not having cup holders. If you only have two people riding this thing, which these are kind of like captain's chairs, not a bench chair, but if you don't have cup holders, look at that. I did have a question how we're gonna attach a, uh, let's just say a pew pew rack on the back of this thing, because this is not rounded. We'll figure it out. But yeah, the only thing to do now is to take it for a ride and we need to put some fuel in it because when they ship these things, it doesn't have any fuel. I do know it has oil in it. I know that all the fluids were topped off. And this is something that's kind of unique too, which I have never seen this in any side-by-side. -side. If you have a side-by-side -side that has this, tell me, but check this out. A metal fuel tank. I've never seen a metal or aluminum, whatever it is, fuel tank. Usually they're all plastic. But before we uh, go for a ride real quick, I want to show you what, what I think is the coolest feature of this thing. I'll have to actually go in at night and put a picture over here so you can see what it looks like at night. Nice sounding machine too, not super loud. You could open the hood like you do on a car. So here's your hood, your battery, all the things that you would you know, try and service it with, coolant overflow tank. By the way, if you end up buying one of these things, thank me later to unplug the annoying backup alarm, excuse me, the safety alarm if you wanna keep it. But to me, it's an annoying backup alarm. Just un unplug this one tab, which is very handy to have, super simple. I'm kind of rambling at this point, but let me show you the coolest thing about this machine that sets it apart that I've never seen before is LED lights. Check this out. I mean, that, was, that just looks awesome. This LED strip, wait till y'all see this thing at nighttime. It, it, I mean, it's just killer, so. All right, I'm gonna fill it up with uh, some fuel and let's take it for a ride. I mean, it's, it's hard to really kind of give you an idea of performance just yet, because this thing's brand new. It has no time on it. I'm not just gonna get on it and lay on it, but you can see that in future videos where we will absolutely lay on the thing. But yeah, I mean, it's comfortable. It's got a very great soft suspension that's gonna eat up a lot of these bumps. Plenty of power to get up this hill. I'm in high, let me switch down to low and see how that does. So now I'm in low gear, which really, if you're climbing a hill or something like that, you should pull the RPMs back a little bit, but it's a very comfortable machine. Great steering. It's not power steering, I don't believe but it's a lot easier to steer than other ones that I've driven without power steering. So now let's have a little bit of fun with it without going too crazy. What I'm also trying to figure out is how safe is it to ride? You know, this particular hill, the tractors and everything that we run on this thing, we have to be really careful because it's not easy. You know, there's a lot of ways where your suspension kind of saves your bacon on this kind of stuff. So it rides great. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a brand new UTV. Of course, it's supposed to ride nice. It's of course supposed to sound nice. Uh, the motor sounds like, you know, it's it's a higher RPM motor, just like uh, you know the, the other machine we have. The Kawasaki Mule is a little bit lower of an RPM, so it's quieter, but it really just depends how you're gonna get after it too, right? Are you gonna go wide open? You're gonna have higher RPMs, it's gonna be loud. We could do some decibel tests and stuff like that, see you know the, the noise level differences between a couple of different machines. First impressions, I'm pretty impressed. So yeah, let's just keep riding. <laughs> Oh, 
The folks at Bighorn may regret sending us one of these machines because we're not easy on them. But so far, I really like it. Well, since you stayed this long, you get the most satisfying part of the video, period. 